Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial Series Part 2, The Redux. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 3. It's the year 2243. We're here on the map. This is what it looks like. We've kind of spread off in this outer rim. We have these two other factions close to us. They're both the same types of faction that they are. Well, it says they're different. It says one is hegemonic imperialist and the other is ruthless capitalist. If we look at these ruthless capitalists, they're fanatic materialist and materialist. Oh, so they're, they're fanatic militarist and materialist. And then the other ones were also fanatic militarist. And these were also materialist. So it says materialist and materialist. It's got the two gears. These guys are the same as far as I can tell, except for, okay, so that's... That's, um, this part. But then there's the other part of your civics. Um, there's the other part of your civics that has to do with the type of government you have and stuff like that. And I'm not exactly sure how to find that on their screen. Oh, right here, maybe? No? Independent. Right-click, go to Rack's Homeworld. Well, I don't care about that wary attitude toward us they're reptilian slow learners and then uh, i was hoping it would learn something about their government type but anyways their their traits are the same but their government type is a little different because if you look at us player empire We are these so these are our governing ethics. Their ethics are the same. But their civics and I assume their authority <coughs> is different. And that's why they're slightly different, but you know, they're more or less the same, as far as I'm concerned. Alright. So there's racks, there's their capital, their homeworld. We also have this Gaia world over here that looks very nice and I wanted to colonize that and I also wanted to colonize this world up here Wendell 2 a continental world so this is right here on the doorstep of these guys home but this space station right here upgrade we are lacking the pieces to do it so that's why we can't even colonize right we're low on alloys we've been putting together ships over here and by the way you don't want to play the game on with opinion map mode on I do like the colors personally but you don't want to play it with that map mode on because no matter how fast you make the speed it actually goes really slow fast it's it's better now because Special the board is out but complete. as the as the game goes along and all this gets revealed um, opinion map mode will make this actually run a little slower. So void clouds. Situation clouds logs up. updated. So that's the reason I turned it off and I don't want to run it on fastest right now, but I do want to run it on fast enough. We have this fleet over here, 27 of 30. It has a 1.2k destruction. I was thinking about sending it over here to get these guys ancient mining drones. So I was thinking, yeah, let's go take care of them, and then we can bring them back and upgrade them and repair them, and then send them out to get these guys, the space-born organics, the tree of life protectors. We want to get them out of the way so that we can collect all of this back here. Same thing with these guys, but they're really, they're 3482 is their power score. And we can Research see what they are. Complete. They are small amoeba weapons on their small ships. In fact, um, they're all, and they have large ones. So these do... 25% to armor and 33% to hull, but they don't do anything to shields. So the more shielding we can have, the better off we'll be going against those guys. Get some research here. Um, improved reactor booster. We don't have a physics researcher up here with the physics research trait, but we do. We are using geniuses across the board. This tip, thanks to one of the people who commented on the first Let's Play newbie tutorial series, I was neglecting geniuses, and that's not a good thing that you should do. Research station output costs the least amount to research right now. And I want to get it off so I can get something else better on that list of things. Construction ships. This guy's going to go build a mining station. That guy's built that there. Um, what do I have over here? Tree lock protectors. 
I'm going to go try to claim this system there. They, 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 the Tree of Life protectors have been anywhere from here complete. to here to Gozam to over here. They've been they go around this area, and every time I've brought a ship close by, they've come and whacked me. So I'm not real hip on doing that anytime soon. So, and we've lost a scientist on one of our ships. Fortunately, we oh we don't have any spares. So. Let's grab Mr. Expertise in Propulsion. System survey complete. Okay. We also have these drones down here, Sexy 4, and we can't we can't go survey the rest of this. So this ship is gonna survey that, and this ship is gonna move here. And after our fleet comes down and attacks these guys, he's gonna go over here and take care of the mineral extraction. Operation. These guys have the, their weapons do minus 50% to shield damage, so, and all they have is armor, so we should be able to take them out. I'm, I'm not going to, at this point in the game, intentionally build my ships to exactly take them out. I could do that, that would be more effective, but I'm going to continue to try to stay in the black on cash flow. Construction complete. We have plenty of food, so we can sell some extra foods. This guy managed to get that built. And see, they're coming after me now. The Tree of Life Protectors. They were over here and they're coming this way because they see me building this. And they're going to try to come over here and thump me for it, I think. So there's a lot of stuff for my military fleets to do on this board. Construction complete. And that guy is sitting there. So what am I gonna do with that? I'm just gonna have him sit there for right now. There's nothing else I can really do with him. I have three other science ships right here. One there, one there, and one there, and they are all assisting research Construction on complete. my three main planets. You can see it right there. That's what this little icon is. It tells you they're all getting a bonus to research, so. The big thing is, let's, let's get these guys over here. Take them out and take them out, and once these Aliens Research are done. Complete. Then we can really go expand over in this direction. Alright, so that didn't take long, just like I thought it was. Cold fusion reactor. Improved deflectors. I'm going to choose this. It's field manipulation. He's at 53%. I have someone with field manipulation, and if I swap him out, he's at 56%. So it's a 3% bonus. But that's why you min max it. Incoming transmission. Alright, what do we have here? They want a research agreement. Heck yeah. Agreements are good. I would like to get in the Federation this time. Be kinda nice. Incoming transmission. And a commercial path. Nice. That'll build some trust. And let's see. Okay, our fleet's about ready to get in here and do this. Not in a big hurry on everybody else here. He did not grab that spot. Okay. We have this colonization field. Trying to finish out that one and get the second one of uh, our ascension points. I'm going to bring him over here. I want to get this spot too, though, so actually I'm just going to move him there first. Actually, I should move him over here. Let's move him there. And we lost another scientist. So we'll pick another new one up. Oh, and this time we have a physics researcher. Okay, what do we have? Technology. Research wise. complete. Field sciences. What do we have here? Terraforming gases. That's exactly what I want. This is New Worlds. She's at 57%. I have a New Worlds person. And it's 54%, so I'm still gonna, I want him to get some levels, so I'm gonna let him do that. It's a 3% difference. This person, synthetic crystal plants and exotic gas refineries, we need these things. Synthetic and unblocks building, lithoid crystal plants, need both of these things. Um, star base 
building cost and star based module cost. That's a really nice rare technology though. I'm gonna have him do it since he's a genius and he has expertise voidcraft. I'm gonna do that and then uh, that's my other genius. Hostile fleet and researching on Spock and that gives them a twenty percent bonus to research on there. See how our fleet's gonna do over here, taking the ancient mining drones out. Take a look at one of their ships there. Yeah, they're all cutting lasers and armor. So waiting for them to be done. And that's very nice. Okay, so you come over this way. Admiral gains a trait. We can look at this. We lost three Corvettes. You can see that uh, total damage to the hull that we did, it was 100% efficient. All of our weapons were maximum efficiency, damage to the armor, a small coil gun because it does less, the coil gun does less damage to armor and the lasers do more, so that's why they're 150% efficient. He did 174% efficient with the small cutting laser to uh, our hull. Damage to armor, damage to shields, where is not efficient. If we'd have had ships that had nothing but shields, we'd probably done even better. So our guys here are going to go over there. And this guy is going to come over here and research the project in the system to get ahead on some research from these things. Track on map, debris ready. Cloud study available. None of these are under 10 months, so I'm not going to worry about any of them. I have an unemployed pop on my research planet and it is a regular worker. It's a real person. We're going to give them a technician job. Okay, this guy did this. Construction so complete. I'm going to head up to here and start gathering these moats. He's going to build those. Can't wait to get terraforming because we do have several system planets survey, inside complete. our system. We got this other red one up here, we got a red one up there, a yellow one, a red one, and another yellow one down here. So there's a lot of planets we can add if we just take a little bit of time to get the habitability up. Which takes a lot of money. It's at least it's five thousand credits a shot to terraform a planet. And uh, we don't have the money yet, so this is why our three planets that we started out with were not that great. This has good mining districts on it. Where you're going to sell and make some money. But these had nothing. These were junk. So. Improved deflectors. Now, physics research person. I'm going to go for planetary faster than light inhibitors. He's at 66%. I'm going to fix him switch him over to the physics person. And that makes him 77%. So that's fantastic. And that means I need to put the other genius on there. I see. So what other ships do we have? Who's this person? That's a genius. He's not a genius. And this person is a genius. So we're going to take one of our other geniuses here. Let's see. Who's doing it? Oh, no, you were just field research. Okay, so you're not a genius. That's fine. Just leave that the way it is. Trying to maximize our research here. All the, all, every little last 2% bonus that we can get. Or 3% or whatever it ends up being. So this Gaia world over here, the Veil, vale, doesn't have a lot of uh, districts. But the habitability is off the charts, so that's nice. You get resources from Pops, 10% biological, Pop happiness, 10%, and uh, Lithoid, Pop happiness, 10%. It's all very nice. And as far as, uh, it's got a couple districts. Max aliens. You Construction can put an alien complete. Zoo this guy can go down here with that.
right. debris analyzed. Analyze the debris, which is great. Now you can uh, survey that system. This guy is going to be fighting complete. here. Kung Fu fighting in a second. Ancient mining jobs. Okay, and then, yeah, and then we'll go get the Tree of Life protectors. Um, this guy, build Starbase there. How are we doing, Ancient Mining Drones? Get him. Sick him. And what's this thing down here? Ancient Mining a Alien Vessels, and these are... These are a lot. Okay. So, I want you to fly to right there. I want you come research projects in the system and then survey that system. Now we can splinter off and go in this direction. This is track on map because it's right there. That's the debris that we're going to go get. This is all very, very good. Very good. I'm going to sell a little bit more food. This planet has a person who needs a job, so I'm going to give them a quick job and a little bit more housing. If they were a robot, I'd create one of these food spots. Let's see, what are we doing? We are at 1.1k, and this planet can get a block. I'm going to wait to take these blockers off. We don't need them yet. We're not. System survey. Complete. We're not at the point where we need them. I need this blocker block unblocked right here in the food district, but we don't need it yet. So there's no sense spending the money on it before it's time. Construction complete. And now that we have 440 alloys, we can colonize these planets. Not the Arctic world one. Let's go in the system and look. There's the Arctic world over there. Here's the veil. So we go down here, we can colonize this with our peoples. And what is this? Ovani. Okay. I'm gonna call it something else. Oh, no, I got a better name. <laughs> How'd you like that reference? You guys love that, don't you? I love stuff like that. Don't make fun of me, I like stuff like that. All right, and same thing with this over here. This is going to cost 200. And this has a ton of, of city districts, so this potentially becomes another, research complete. another spot here. Um, Debris analyzed. For research, because it's just got a lot of districts. So, in fact, uh, I think it's got more energy districts than anything. Yeah, because it's got no mining districts. Again, this is a map with not a lot of mining districts on it. Um, physics research. So we have a physicist here, so let's do things like this. Let's match that up with him. Get some of those things off the board. Construction. Grab these. Construction complete. You have done a good job with that. Good job. Um, I want you to go down here. Because these guys have a thousand and these are 995. I've lost a few ships. I want to see what they look like. This is doing good. This is a Bioforge supremacy person. I need more alloys, so I'm going to build another alloy building there. And we've lost our overseer and need a new one. Now we don't have enough influence. To pay for whoever our favorite is. So we're going to look at this. Xenophobe ethics attraction. That's not what I want. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to choose him. He's also... This guy's the youngest. Slave optimization. Slave output 10%. Oh, we, don't, we don't want that either. Uh, well, I have to abstain. So who was chosen? This guy. Outpost build cost. Agenda. Secure the borders. Ooh. Defense platform build house. Hey, he's a good choice. All right, so by luck we got a good choice. That's awesome. By by sheer luck we managed to get a person who actually will be helpful. What are our borders look like? And Joni. 
that's these guys. All right, so they're a little more friendly. One thing that I've learned about is making people a little more friendly with trading and secondary resources are a great thing to trade when you start to get these stockpiled because you can build up a stockpile. I'm only ever concerned with the number on the right hand side complete. of the plus sign, which is how much I'm earning a month. I want it to be positive. Well, while that's happening and, and the decades are rolling by, you're stockpiling these resources. Construction and complete. They they actually give pretty good trade value if you just give them to people in a lump sum, and it can help switch their disposition a, enough to make them friendly to sometimes get them to do things like join federations and other stuff like that. And I've had some people on message boards. I've heard people saying things like, "Don't join the federation." I'm just gonna send a bunch of dumb corvettes at you and they're not gonna join any of your wars that you want to and oh no they they actually will. I've had great success with the, I've had great success with, with uh, Federations myself, so having that extra fleet it's kinda nice because it just constantly grows bigger. There's no limitation. Construction complete. Destroyer hull hit points and corvette hull hit points. I want all these, so just work on those. It's 91% now. She's almost completely doubled that research there. Okay, you go back. You come get this. You are doing research nothing complete. now. I wanted to see... You. Well, okay. You can't go there. Construction you? complete. Okay, hold on. Terraforming gas is awesome. Um, Naval logistics office. We kind of need that soon. Starbase capacity plus two. While I have him doing research on new worlds, I'm gonna select that. Let's see what this guy does. Go in here. Just want to see what this is. I gotta get these alien vessels in here before you can actually see them. You guys need to go back home and go repair. And while I'm here, let's see what's going on with this planet. You make civilian industries, please. Okay, what do we have here? Targets, guys. It's just a void cloud. Ship details. Ooh! It's all cloud lightning. Oh, man. And it's the large one. Holy crap. Okay, and it's got... Oh, it's got no... It's just got 2,000 whole hit points. Lightning. It's right through you. One to three. Okay. No. At least we know now. All right. Cloud lightning. Fair enough. Um, you head off over here. Here to survey that system. There's another blockage over here. 775 mining drones. Man, there's a continental world right here, though. We could colonize that if we can get somebody over there. What are you doing? No orders. Um, go there. Okay. We'll repair this fleet and make a few new ships. When we get some more of this. Alloy. Research complete. Research. Yes, mining drill. Okay, plasma thrower. Thank you. Yes, I want that. And I want the disruptor. And Construction complete. Like the kid sitting there. Construction complete. Slap. I want everything. I want it all right now. We're still enlightening these folks. Technological enlightenment in Estonia. It's going to take a long time. Construction complete. <coughs> takes a good long bit to do that but that'll pop an achievement which will be fun yeah I just need way 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 more alloys than I'm collecting right now way more What do I have for people here? Clerks, technicians, administrators? I have no more jobs available. I should probably get the next job available. Clerks. This provides one clerk job and 
this provides two technician jobs plus two housing. Let's start one of those for the next group of people. Okay, you requires a scientist. Oh, we can we can make that happen. Let's see that or that or anomaly research. But hey, what we put you on there? I would like to get that continental planet. That would be nice. Encounter an Embarcus. Okay. You guys are just going to hang tough there because you're going to start assisting research on that planet as soon as possible because I need you for this stuff later. When we can take care of the Tree of Life Builders. Construction complete. Life. Construction complete. And since I'm still expanding, I have to be judicious with my influence. Otherwise, I'd be going up here to edicts and saying yes. Diplomatic grants, map the stars. I could spend some money on things like this. Education campaign. Recycling. Anomaly found. Healthcare campaign. Capacity overload's nice. That'd be a way to get ourselves a bunch of money. Construction complete. In short order. The Bioforge Empire has spit out another Bioforge supremacy person. So we'll do that. Um, I want to look at. See, so here we have a robot miner working as an artisan because we got the technology to make them uh, do jobs, regular jobs now. They can do regular jobs, and here's my robot modification points. What else do we have? I have no other Voidcraft things right here, so you can either go, eh, let's get the armor second. I really want this, but let's get this. You still have a genius working for you, so just keep doing that. Doing what you're doing. 76%. That's nice. Chug, this guy needs to stay here for this stuff, so he's going to go park his body up there. All right, second perk point we're gonna grab this pop growth speed increased by 10 this gives us our second ascension point and what we're gonna do this time is go for it. the flesh is weak because that leads you down the trail of synthetic evolution this gives you robot output plus 10 percent robot modification points modifying your species is much cheaper and uh this this is nice or as two other ascension perks to be selected first yes so flesh is weak. Yes, and let's look. Make sure what it does. Robot upkeep minus ten percent. That's nice. Pop assembly speed plus thirty three percent. So it makes us even faster. So this is a nice growth thing. It's your special project. The flesh is weak. You have to do that. This takes sixty four months. So it's going to research it and it's going to put on hold our uh, engineering research down here. So the ceramic meta armor is going to wait. Which is fine. So these guys are going to come up here and they're about to get repaired. And upgraded. I'm going to take a look at their fleet. I'm going to incorporate these other guys that came with them. That The new ship that we got from some other spatial anomaly thing. That guy's just waiting. Okay. Move on over, gentlemen. Oh, we're paused. Well, there you go. I'm staring at the screen for two minutes. Being like, what are we? What's going on? Hey, we can upgrade our star hold now. That's cool. You do that, and that just chewed right into our alloys. Traveling through the hyperlane. Communications established with somebody new. The Bernathy regime. They are fanatic materialist and pacifist. Hey, we like you. You're cool. So they're right there. Okay. That's cool. Well, if we want this planet, we need to get it and make like a choke point there or there. So. And then these things are a natural choke point here. Construction complete. 
Good job. Okay. I want. I'm a little anomaly found. Wary of you not being able to get up there and get that planet if they're expanding too quick. So step on it. First wave fleet has been totally repaired. Okay, join. Hands. Construction complete. Upgrade fleet for 118. Let's take a look at what we have in here. Destroyers, Corvettes. Okay. We do that, that's the maximum amount of ships we can put in there. There's 30, so. Save up a little alloy surplus. And then we'll come over here and take care of the uh, Spaceborne Tree of Life Protectors. Long ways from being able to get the 3k Space Amoebas. You do what you can do. Incoming you can transmission. And these guys, <laughs> first wave fleet upgraded. I'd like to propose a non-aggression treaty. You know what? That's fine. I'm totally okay with that. How are we looking? These guys, the racks are, are the only ones who are... We're a little cranky right now. Everybody else is starting to get on my side. I like this. This is this is better than having machine exterminators right next to us. But still, in progress. That last, uh, that first newbie tutorial series and that last series before this, I I just played stupidly. I should have been able to crush those guys. And any experienced Stellaris player would have told you, on Captain Difficulty, that's an easy job. Just don't be dumb. Just don't be hasty. Don't be hasty. That's the number one thing that causes issues to go wrong. Look at this. Can you do... Nope. Never mind. Stay there. These things here. What are these? I keep... I gotta check on this. Are these the precursor ones? Stop track. Yes, they're all the precursor ones. So we've already got a check mark by them because we've done them all. So I'm just going to turn those survey off. For complete. The tree available. I can't do that until I have one science ship. So and I can't do one science ship until. Okay, private collector on the veil has somehow come in ownership of an ancient precursor artifact. Everyone has a price. We can get the Cybrex artifact by spending 500 energy credits. So we did. That Research complete. Another one of those. The plasma thrower, right now there's the plasma accelerator. Chemical plants, though, we're gonna need those. So I'm just, all these are physics research. Or, yeah, particle research, I guess. So we're gonna do that. Limbo! Signal ori originates from the remains of an antenna like structure. Exploratory probes were dispatched from the ISS Yankamu to the surface to investigate the matter more closely. What our science officer found was a cavernous vault that, while easily pried open, was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long dead race of aliens. While reasonably technologically advanced, it seems they never reached for the stars and perished to some planet wide natural disaster. The vault is immense, housing thousands upon thousands of black boxes that ISS Yankamu has determined to be data storage devices. A special project has been prepared to decode their contents. Situation log In updated. limbo. So how long does this... It takes a scientist. So go to it. We have plenty of scientists. So you're doing that. And what are you doing? No orders. Okay, then you research the project. Research so. complete. Starbase capacity. All right, what are we at? We have more blockers and we have naval capacity. Which is quite a ways up there. I'm going to get these blockers because, again, it still matches New Worlds. While he's here, I want to get what I can from him. I can sell a little less food since we're using a little more of it. We have uh, the Veil being colonized and this colony ship is just now reaching over here so that's fantastic meanwhile well I need ships so I was gonna build star bases but I'm just I don't have the alloy I don't have the colonization in progress. this planet has a robot farmer and a bioforge supremacy person so we're going to do that 
Communications established with the artisan troop. The artisan troop visitor. Okay. Okay. Save some. I was gonna spend some money, but now I might save it because one of these enclaves might be able to provide me. Special with project complete. The vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. Science officer asserts that the huge blocks of ternary code found in the databanks are neural images. Digitized brain scans, doubtlessly the aliens of Dyskidia 4, considered this to be their only shot at any kind of survival. Let the dead aliens lie, or we do not. But it says, doubtlessly the aliens of Dyskidia 4 considered this to be their only shot at any kind of survival following whatever calamity befell their planet. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the impossibly small hope that eventually someone else would have those means. We do not, but download their neural patterns for safekeeping. We will very likely have that power <laughs> someday. So that'll be fun. Uh, what are we doing? Grabbing influence and you're doing nothing, so you can go do that. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction. This guy, he constructed there. That's great. Diskita, you need to go over here because I want this. So we're waiting on what's this person doing? One of them has no orders and one of them is surveying. Person who has no orders, what are you doing? Survey that system, will you? Since you're waiting for Disket. System survey there you go. complete. Perfect. That's what we were waiting for. Move there. Hostile fleets are present in the system. What? What? Are there hostile fleets? What is this? Science ship. What is this? Construction complete. Mineral extraction operation hostile. Oh, are you kidding me? It's a hostile mineral extraction place in there? Well. Okay, ladies and germs, we were gonna go north, but we can't. We have to go elsewhere. We have to go south. To go down here and take care of this. Can you change? What are you? Fleet stance evasive. Passive. Can I get you here now? Hostile fleets are present in the system. Nope. So can't get you to do it. Okay, but what I'm going to have you do is this in the meantime. You guys. Wait. Shipyard. That uses up pretty much every last alloy we have. Let's take a look. The shipyard's cranking out ships. It's cranking out one more destroyer. And then you guys can head down there. And see if you can kill that thing. That'd be fantastic. While we're down here, what else do we have? We have 775 ancient mining drones. And then a whole slew of ships here. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Artisan troop. Oh, I did not win it. I, I was wrong about what I thought that was. I thought this might be uh, some hostile marauders, but it doesn't look like it. Raxar have entered into an agreement Construction with the Bernathy. Complete. Bernathy communicates. Form a non aggression pact. Can't. He says, no, not yet. Bioforge Prime. My friend, grab more alloys. That is, that is what we need. Construction complete. Right, Research fleet. complete. You guys look like a full fleet. Go down to Discada. System survey complete. Chemical plants. That's fantastic. Disruption, cold fusion reactor, UV laser. This unlocks further to the field of energy weapons. This unlocks uh, several different fields. It says we're going to do this. Old fusion reactor. I'm trying to build me look like this a desert world here. Look at all these different worlds that we could terraform and turn into some really nice stuff for ourselves. There's also this fleet down here, Void Construction Cloud. Complete. I feel like I need a lot more to tackle that because they're gonna chew right through our armor. Um, if we can get ships with with better hulls tech on them, that might be the best thing. 
So you were over there doing that. And you were there doing nothing. Because you gotta wait. Because these Tree of Life guys are floating around here somewhere. I wonder if we can get you to uh, research the practice. Oh, you don't have a science person. We can fix that. Your survey speed is really Construction fast. Construction complete. With this person, see if you can do this. Colony established. Yay, we have colony. Okay, the Vale's colony is up. Hit the colony button. To distribute luxury goods. Population growth. And since since minerals have sucked on my other two worlds, you're getting all the minerals, buddy. So we're gonna go mining. And which planet to veil? And the other one is gonna be for research. Okay, cool. This one's gonna be an all research planet down here at Wendell. We're not gonna call this Wendell. We're gonna call Construction this Construction complete. Something else, like a Einstein. Einstein Rosen Bridge. Alright, and Wendell. Galactic Market established center galaxy of commerce is manifested in the Durban system. So we didn't even get a chance to do that unless if I miss the message for a recruitment. So that's too bad. So the Galactic system Market is somewhere complete. else now. Durban. I didn't see the message about the galactic market. I hope I didn't miss it. So Durban, where the heck is Durban? Hmm. Durban is D-I-R. Where is it? It's over here. Oh, so we have to conquer you guys to get the galactic market. Okay, we can do that. They're kind of green. Like the Construction place. complete. The research world. Okay, they're they're falling behind on amenities because this is not providing enough. You can see right here, amenities provided twenty four. I'm just not getting enough. So, if I had a new monastic order shrine, I'd put that down. But since we don't, what I'm gonna do is like, these guys provide trade value and amenities. Oh yeah, that's what you do. Put that down. That'll provide some more amenities and trade value, which is the stuff. You are there. Hey, can you go claim this system? Yes, please do. I want the black world system. Construction complete. Hey, there's a planet way up there too. What's that? It's a desert world. We could have that planet too. We can get over there in time. Construction complete. Okay, you have done a very good job. Can you go over there? You can, you just can't build in that system. You could passively go through it and build over here. That's interesting. Or I can send you to build Colony established. Here. Maybe just wait. System for a survey bit. complete. Colony established. Choose the colony and pot growth and immigration. And these guys are going to be energy dudes. Tile blockers or leader pool size. Or genetic modification, self modification. Yes, please. And this is biology. Do we have it? It's 41%. I know we either have a biologist or a genius who will want to do this project. So he's 79 and he's skill level 4. She's skill level 6. Grab her. She's a genius with skill level 6. She's going to do good. She's 57%. Okay. You assist with research on Spock. Alright. Yes, self modification. Please, thank you. Busy with special project to flesh this week. Okay. 
Yeah, so you, I'm waiting for these ding dongs. Why don't you go do this? What, is he gonna get a chance to serve anything? Oh, there they are. The space born organics. Oh, and you don't have any orders. Quick, research that thing before they come attack you. Django has a person and a robot farmer. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna remove that blocker because we're gonna need that spot soon. System survey complete. Evading hostile fleet. That's what I thought. Yep, they came and got you, didn't they? Dang, those pesky little gremlins. You know, he's almost there, right? You just Construction go complete. He's, this fleet is almost there, and you're just going to tag along right behind, and you're going to grab that, and that, and that, and that. Grab all this stuff. It's going to be good. Bioforge, the Empire Capital, they need another city district. That is not a surprise. <coughs> How much is food is this thing producing right now? Planetary production, eight food. Eight food. Farmer space produce job space production. Well, they're consuming some, that's why. The job space production is 12, so if I get rid of these two foods in favor of more cities, this will drop down to zero. System survey complete. Biofort Supremacy, take care of dense jungle, and over here, we have the Atokthon Monument and the two growing things, robots and gene clinics. So then, it's just a matter of do we want civilian industries or alloys. I'm kind of really feeling the alloy punch, but look, we're down to six on consumer goods. So, sadly, the correct move is to do that. Construction complete. Keep my, my people... Research complete. That research complete. Old fusion reactor. All right, what do we have? Improved reactor booster, which is cheap. Basic combat rolls. Hyperdrive two and register. I'm gonna grab that again. You got a physics particles research here. I'm just gonna keep keeping busy. Okay, this thing's going in here. Let's see what do you got there. Come take care of it, gentlemen. Construction complete. He said this thing was hostile. Blow it up. Alright. We got a mining station. Cool. You guys. Go do this now. Thank you, please. You dudes, what do you got? You're 1.6k. You should be able to take care of these ancient mining drones down here, so go do it. He's grabbing this, of course, so now the race is on. You just saw it. There it is. Right there. Gosh. Now we're probably, well, we should be able to get to here. But we probably won't get this corner here. And this is a great choke point, so this is where I'd like it to be. That would be even better, but there's no way we're getting to there when he's already building on that. So You System are building complete. that, and then you're going to immediately build that. And then immediately build that. Science ship. Hey, what did you do? Oh, you escaped. That's right. Okay. Back up here you go. Oh, go up here and then immediately start adding research to the veil. The doorway only be described as a dimensional portal has been discovered in a remote location of the Einstein system. Weather prediction algorithms noticed a strange air current which was eventually determined to be caused by the slight leakage of atmosphere into the portal. Alright, so intriguing issues, special products. Situation probe, log updated. The dimensional portal. Probe it, my friends. 
This may be a bonus long episode. From beneath the waves, try to salvage the situation log cruiser. updated. These guys over here fighting this thing. Construction complete. Moths to the flame. I don't know, look at this. Man, it is kind of turning. Turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. Taking that over. And there's going to be debris there, which is going to be fantastic. What are you doing? No orders. Come look at this debris and then survey the system. You guys. 1.6k. What do we? How do we do on there? We didn't lose anybody. Great, fantastic. Okay, in that case, you guys can come back this way. These are 909. Uh, I don't want to go for the void cloud. We're gonna go take care of the tree of life, guys. You dudes are going to come here. Uh, if I send you to repair, you'll go. Yep, right there. All right, good. We'll repair there. The black hole has been taken care of. Got that. And now I think it's probably safe to start adopting multiple things here. I need to adopt diplomacy. Because I do want to be able to form a federation and do all this trading stuff. None of our neighbors seem so hostile that right now supremacy seems like the best choice. So I'm going to adopt this first. If we had some really hostile neighbors, complete. things would be different. Producing a lot of research on this planet with these, these two jobs. I really want to move this off to one of my dedicated research worlds. But how many people are here? This is 62. Hmm, what do I want to do with this? Here's my conundrum. I'm thinking about getting rid of these two food slots and making them energy slots. I think I'd like that better. Let's do that. Let's replace these with two generator districts. Because I don't like, I hate having my planet split up with three of these. It's just not worth it unless you have a ton of districts you can actually afford it. Cybernetic revolution. The cybernetic conversion process has been completed. All of our citizens have now been equipped with neural implants and basic cybernetic suites. The infrastructure is also in place to gradually modify any new citizens that are born within our nation so that they can experience all the benefits of technology. We are the Super Bioforge, which is awesome. So you can go to our species and see we are the Super Bioforge. We're done. And for our benefits, we get cybernetic, plus 20 habitability, plus 10% armor damage, leader lifespan, plus 40 years. Pop housing usage minus five and we're intelligent. So we keep our original trait and we get those new ones. This is fantastical. I like this. So that's good. This ship is staying there because he's gonna do the construction for that. So that's fantastic. Uh what do we got here? Track on the map. Go to we have somebody going there, don't we? Oh no, where are you? You're going there. Yes, good. Okay. That's awesome. Submerged cruiser, 30 months. Probe the dimensional portal will take 7. Drone study, 9. Space to 20. Probe the dimensional portal will take 7 months. Go ahead and research that. Track it on the map and go to it. Where is it? It's an Einstein system. Okay. I am going to think long and hard about what I want to do next. The people who seem most likely to want to come after me are the Raxars, which means I need to start building. I need to start building the choke point stuff for them. So let's see, how do I want to do this? Do I just want to build two there? There's no way I can really afford to split two fleets between. Construction there. complete. That's what you're gonna to have to do. I I needed this system. And I 
I didn't get it. You, my friend. System survey complete. Go here. Yes, go here. Okay, you did all your system survey stuff, which is great. I want you now to head in this direction. Here. Special project complete. Can't do this explore wormhole. Okay. Special project complete. Mirror, mirror. Strangely, the dimensional portal on Einstein <coughs> 2 seems to connect to a planet which looks very much like Einstein 2. Stranger still, there's a signal being broadcast to it. This is called up yar of the Bioford Supremacy. Who are you, portal aliens? Uh, no. So we have the mirror going on. Amazing. Tell us how your super Bioforge fare. Much the same as it fares in your dimension, I expect. Spread out to space from Bioforge Prime since the discovery of the warp drive. The warp drive traveled by hyperlanes. Hyperlanes? Perhaps discovering different types of faster than light travel was the divergence point between our two universes. Does this mean you are not beset by the warp beasts? No warp beasts here. Are they a serious threat? The warp beasts assail every known civilization. They are a threat to all life. As far as we have determined, once warp travel reached a certain critical level in the galaxy, the warp beasts awoke and attacked. Several species we know of have already fallen, but so far we are holding them off. Hmm, sounds terrible. Can we help? Never volunteer to help. Yes, we should establish an interdimensional trade treaty to strengthen both our nations for the benefit of all super biofoil. Okay. Unfortunately, they don't show up on here. I don't, I don't know where to check for that trade. Super Bioforge. Monthly trades. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to check for that to ensure that we're actually getting something. It probably shows up on a planet. Oh, it's it's got to show up on Einstein, doesn't it? Because that's the planet. If we go to Einstein, you got interdimensional trade right here. Trade with mirror cells will benefit both our realms. But it doesn't Debris give you a number. Analyzed. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what is this. Production. Researcher jobs. Luxury is distributed. Yeah, so this is this is vague. I don't know. Unlike everything else in the game that tells you what's going on, that doesn't tell you anything. This is another planet we can colonize, and so I am going to. Because I don't want to. Construction and complete. Again, with the planets that don't have any. This is the most oddly amazing galaxy I have seen in quite some time. No minerals. Wow, I'm stunned. Okay, well. Oh, the, oh, the name of this. The name. Okay. Bracus Rex. I'm changing the name of that system. Construction okay. complete. Where is the Where's the name of this system? You don't know where Brachus Rex is from. I can't help you. We're gonna sell some of those. That's great. Honest to goodness, um, you Construction should, complete. You watch my channel. You should know who Brachus Rex is. Research complete. Part of Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2. Two of the most amazing party-based, turn-based RPGs I've ever played. Um, he's got physics and I really want the wormhole travel, but I don't think getting it right now is that important. But unlocking this could be very important, so we're going to do that. And down here, Corvette hull hit points. Kind of have to take that right now. Oh, and the civilian fabricators, we're going to need that, but that's materials. We'll do it later. We'll grab that for right now. So, this, this is where we're at. This is, this is going to be the end of this episode. I think we've done quite a bit here this hour. Oh, we got one more thing. Bunker bot. We have traced the unusual electromagnetic radiation emanating from Milistamu 1 to a secret subterranean bunker hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship. Scrap the mega computer parts will just give you two secondary resources and 100 alloys. Use it to boost our research for 120 months. 
or give ourselves some influence. We're going to use it to boost our research for 120 months. So this is pretty fantastic. Okay, folks, thanks for sticking with me. And as always, if you guys dig the channel, subscribe. If you dig the episode, hit the thumbs up. And if you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.